Hi, Bruce from Safari, and we're here today to have a look at the new solid-state lithium battery. This is the first in Australia, commercially available. Uh, the fence are installing them now. This battery here is 212 amp hours at 12 volts, and it's 53.1 at 48 volts. In watt hours, it's 27 12 watt hours that we have here. So the shape of this is such that we can stack two on top of each other like this. So I'll just show you, and that will lock in. And after it locks in there, when you tie that down, that battery won't move. That's because the cutout underneath in the battery matches the slightly raised profile in the handle. And then the cables and the straps can come underneath. The other thing we've done is the straps um, between the batteries will run in the grooves down the side. So when they're stacked too high, you won't see any additional cables. And to cable these up, uh, will be done very, very uh, quickly. So we have a design patent on that. Now to explain solid state, firstly the benefits, 10,000 cycles out of it and incredibly safe. I will do a video coming up where I put a nail through the wafers in the battery here and uh, there'll be no explosion, no threat at all. Uh, you can also crush it with up to 200 kilonewtons and nothing will happen. You can overcharge it with twice the voltage. Uh, it is just unbelievably safe. And the wafers that are in here have only got 5% uh, liquid in them. A normal lithium battery is between 25 and 40. And this is much less liquid. And it's the liquid that's the problem. So by minimizing the liquid to go down to solid state, it's just got a wetting agent between the layers. Uh, then that's what makes it unbelievably safe. So we're buying the wafers directly from an EV supplier. And then we put them in our case. And then lastly, the BMS in here is... The same BMS we have in our Meteor battery, which means it's Victron compliant, so there's no need for a shunt. Sorry, Mr. Red Arc, they still have to have a shunt with their older technology. We don't need that. This will come out of here, read the battery directly, bring it up on the display, makes this battery here fully compliant with the Australian standard and also the Marine standard. And then when you link multiple batteries together, uh, then we use the secondary data bus here. We have an on off switch here to turn it on and you can turn the battery on and off remotely. You can turn the whole train on remotely uh, with just one press of a button. Now the same case has either 12 volt or 48 volt. It means canopy builders, van builders can put exactly the same battery in and decide whether they're going to do a 12 volt or a 48 volt system purely based on the inverter. The batteries are identical. Uh, you can go 12 volt, 48 volt and you don't need to change the design of how you're putting the batteries in. Have to say, how good's that?